Good morning guys, welcome back to the Archivate YouTube channel. My name is Trevor and today I'm going to ask you guys to click that red subscribe button, smash that thumbs up button, and go ahead and share your favorite video of the channel. Now, before we get started and dive into our intro, I would like to read today's devotional out of the day by day devotions for dads. This book is awesome, you can get it down below, check the description. You can get this off of Amazon, it's awesome. And it's not just for dads. Like, if you're going to be a dad, it'd be a good book to read. Moms, you could read this too, but they do have devotionals for moms, and I'm sure that they're great for moms. So go ahead, check them out. That link down below. Today, calling all treasure hunters. I've got all the money I'll ever need just so, just so long as I die by 4 o'clock. Henny Youngman. The Bible has some 500 verses concerning faith and about 500 on the topic of prayer, but more than 2,300 on money and possessions. Here are just a few. Whoever loves money never has enough. Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income. It, ooh, mm, it collects. Five ten. <laughs> Sorry. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Matthew six twenty four. The love of money is a root of all kinds of is a root of all kinds of evil. Some people eager for money have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. 1 Timothy 6.10 Where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. Luke 12.34 You've heard these passages before, and you could breeze right past them without too much effort. Or you could courage, courageously ask yourself a few follow-up questions. What do you love? Who is your master? Where is your treasure? In our culture, money issues seem to have a stranglehold on most guys. To break that grip, we need to recognize the temporal nature of possessions. Earthly stuff doesn't last. What does? God. Our souls, relationships, love. What about you? When you envision success for your children, do you envision a well-paying job with a big house? Or do you visualize your grown child kids with a strong faith and humble, grateful hearts? Amen. Yes, 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 I do. That is exactly how I would love my kids to grow and how to become. I would love them to, you know what? You know what, God? Today I just got hit with this. I might be getting let go. I might be having a baby, we might lose the baby, we might, we might, you know, these things are coming at us, right? And the first step, what I want to do is say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the struggle. Thank you for this blessing. I trust you. May your will be done. May your light shine through me so that others come to you as well. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Just like that. That's that's what I want. I want my kids to seek Him first. First and always. And then, you know, with doing that, the worry of losing a family member, losing a friend, losing your job, not having enough money, getting kicked out of your house, losing your car, all that worry, you can lay at His feet and say, Here, this is all for you. Show me the way show me the way and he does just that and it's amazing so anyways let's roll that intro and uh i got a little something something for you guys because ah, the kid in me the kid in me it's it's here and we got to do this let's go
come on. I'm not sure how many gears it has. thing is so much fun the little kid in me just comes out anytime like I've been dying to get out here and do that so this was a perfect chance because you know what it's just what we got it's what we got anyways I'm gonna put this puppy away actually you know what I might just leave it out so that when everybody's home we'll be able to get back out and go ride it perfect little lunch uh, get away take your break hop on your quad and go out and do some laps Man, I love it. I can't wait to get more of them. Wait, did I just say that? <laughs> Anyways, if you guys enjoy this little uh, quad vlog, we'll call it the quad vlog with me, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. Ring that bell for Mr. Cohen because he's going to ask. And last but not least, please share this video. Share any of your favorite videos. Help us reach our goal of hitting, I know it's out there in the moon, wherever the moon is right now. And we're reaching for the moon, and that is 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I know that we can do it with your guys' help, so go ahead, click that red subscribe button, check out our shorts, and we will see you tomorrow in another vlog. And I don't mean these shorts. Wait a second, those aren't shorts either. Have a great night, God bless. Don't ever give up, God is here with you yeah. You are a child, nothing but love is true Just got a fix in view, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ He came to die